Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Nice mustache. Okay, hey guys, as you can see today, we will be doing Batman the Telltale series. As a massive Batman fan, you'd think I would have played this already, but I believe all I really did was like I dabbled with the first episode like maybe four or five years ago when it first came out, and since then, nothing. So I, I have it on uh, Xbox 360, but this is a gold version of it, so this is on the Xbox One. If you uh, ever played uh, The Walking Dead, it's by the same people, which is Telltale, obviously who were like massive and then suddenly just like died like maybe a year or two ago or maybe a bit more than that but yeah i kind of loved their stuff they had the wolf among us which i again didn't finish but i remember the first episode i really liked i had like the, the woodsman and that kind of stuff it's basically like fairy tale characters in like new york or something and it was like gritty and kind of weird but it was kind of cool all right well it says continue but i don't remember actually like starting any so i think we'll just jump straight in with episode one and uh, here we go this is batman the Telltale series, episode one, Realm of Shadows. Here we go. I think I think to a small extent, your actions kind of affect the rest of the story, but I don't think overly. Because I remember when I was playing the Walking Dead one, like some of the, you could like, some people would die depending on who you chose to save or what you chose to do, etc. That's pretty cool. So I remember the first time I played it, I was like, holy shit, they just blasted that fucking guy's head apart. But yeah, if, if you've seen like the Life is Strange videos I've done, but you're not really familiar with uh, these style of games, it's basically like in that style, like you kind of walk around a bit, you'll interact with people, you can choose what you say, that kind of stuff. Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? You bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, Christ. Move in! No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Dun, dun, dun. It's Batwoman. Are we gonna have to like press the buttons to fight him or what? Bruce, you, you can't keep doing this. I have to. You think he'd have a six pack? No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. What was that? 
Okay, these bits are kind of like cheesy right now. Okay, so I've got to be on my toes in this one because life is strange. You can just kind of like fuck around while they're talking. But this one's like, oh shit! Now I've got to propel this guy towards the ceiling. Oh, <coughs> what the hell is this? <coughs> like this. Come back. What's with the Batman thing in the corner? That's kind of cool though. Dun, dun, dun. Oh damn, the eyes. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come back! Come on! Okay, so I guess you fight them and then that builds up your little bat logo and then you can do a finishing move. That kind of makes sense. <gasps> Did your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Huh? <laughs> Fucking soul, who brings a soul to a... Well, actually, I guess they have to cut through that door. Nice. Oh, she's quick. I like the purple. Mm. Nice. Okay, so clearly this is uh, during him and the police not getting along favorably. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. It kind of, like, has like a freeze frame at the end of every scene. That's kind of annoying. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. She said shit. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. I'm not Sounds sure I lonely. like the voice. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Do you like the outfit though? And let's put you in a cage. Damn. Bring it, Bat. Cut it! 
Cut it. There you go. I'm surprised it's not Vicky Vale. Oh, wait, what's it called? Jack Ryder? Damn, right in the gut. Wait, what was that move? I just look at the throat. It's kind of like a backdrop, but not really. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Is this me if that shot was really blue? Whoa. That's fucking cool. I think we got there. Yeah, oh shit. I'm loving this bit. I don't remember it being this fun when I played the first time, otherwise I would have kept going. Oh, here comes Jim. Who are them now? Jesus! I got it! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Do it, I thought I pressed that thing. That's cool. Is that gonna be for him or for them to pick up later? Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. What the fuck? God damn it! Oh. I said don't shoot him! Surely his... Bat suit should be no. better. No, wait. So that went through the back and came out the front. Did I get it? Did I get it? There we go. Whee! Now it's like the Matrix Two. Are we have to capture. There we go. Oh. And then this slidey bit's like uh, the Dark Knight, that like slidey roof thing, where he throws Rachel out at the party. <sighs> nice, instead of a monorail, they've got like a, a ceiling rail. Are they real? Is there places in the world that have them? Because that'd be pretty uh, awesome. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake. Or yours. Let's go, badass. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh. What? How the hell did you do that? Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Oh my god, why haven't he just turned into a pixel all of a sudden? Time to save the city. And again, what, what is happening there? Wow, that looked terrible. Okay, so welcome to Gotham, completed chapter one. Okay, so they do it in chapters. So you'd assume there's either going to be, well, actually, I don't know, it could be like three, four, five. But round of applause for that opening chapter. That was, that was pretty awesome. I did enjoy that, actually. Although it's kind of weird because some of the inputs, like I did them, but it didn't register necessarily. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, 
This city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. His face was creepy when he saw him there. Say hi, Bruce. Again, there's some, like, really soft shots for some reason. I'm not sure why. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. Oh, oh, oh. no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, there are the wheels. I don't feel like Bruce should be that short. Unless Harvey's like really Gotham, tall. A place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Mm. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. To right, prefer the dent one about, uh, was better, but the face one was clever. A new face for Gotham. Hmm? In the long you. run, it will it's be. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Zellerbach. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's going to need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. That was funny. I like it. still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. 
And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. Well, let's see how that fucking pans out. We'll be out. dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne. Yeah, that's cool. In the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Uh, yes, well, that was a long time ago. I've moved on. Of course. Of course. Together, we'll help the whole city move on. Nice segue. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. You think? It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. There you go. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not in Oh, there's Vicky Vale. Okay, I thought it was going to be Carol. This is a private fund. Oh, I had to look long to find no that much. Allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Uh, Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... <laughs> is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. We'll stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. We never stain. There's a life lesson for you. Yeah, I was thinking of saying it's lipstick, but that kind of, that's kind of a bullshit excuse. Uh, do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet okay, this Okay, he's like some mafia personally. fuckers in the back so. here. Is it going to be like Falcone? Carmine Falcone? There you go. <laughs> Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Hmm, it's interesting that he's defending him. And that dress is fucking rank, by the way. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. You got a point. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Well, he's gone dark all of a sudden. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, <laughs> man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? Hey, <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Didn't have much of a choice. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. So, the question is, do I play this as I would, or do I play this as if I'm Batman? Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Has... And I feel like Batman wouldn't shake his hand because he knows he's a criminal. His voice disappeared. What is happening? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. We talk alone. Just you and me. 
Sorry, Harvey. We can handle him. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Why does every game I play have, Christ. like, massive glitches? Like, there's no fucking sound or there's massive black lines and everything. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Chaps my face. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. We can play nice, but we're not gonna put up with any shit. Okay, imagine, this is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Nice mustache. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Well, we all just decided to go at the same time. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. It's me. Hotel is being so slow now. Last year, remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. Ah, uh, there you go. There's Jack Ryan. I was talking about him before. The stolen items were returned. But the 
Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Okay, so we have to do some sort of. Oh, okay, we're going to play here. So I'm guessing it's just like, okay, identify the individuals, there you go, okay, that makes sense. Interesting how you can like look at it from the back of here. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against a wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. May Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent in a City Hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against the vigilantism in Gotham. From the uptick in citizen-led shootings to the costume superhero Batman, Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes in the state. His groundbreaking Victims Assistance Program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election. Since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Okay, so he's come up the ranks, and yeah, they're doing that better Arkham Asylum thing is more based on helping their mental health, I guess. Oh, we can watch it, let's have a look at it. Okay, it's kind of meh. Muldoon. Okay, this movement's kind of wacky. Okay, data drive, look at it. Nearly fell off a building for this. Unnecessary. Let's find out what was so important. I like it's just got like a little USB in it, apparently. I'm expecting we're going to have to do like a mini game to like unencrypt it. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theatre. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Okay, this reminds me of uh, Spider-Man. We we'll take the hologram, which I hated. It was like a weird kind of puzzle map thing they had to do. This is a map of the East Side shoreline. As Mary Jane, I hate that. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... That decryption process is very long, apparently. I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. 
But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Okay, so that's like their first meeting. I'll check the codex. Found her. Okay, that's no help. All right, what am I gonna do? Wanna go back? Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. Ah, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him... We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. What a great out-of-focus photo. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. I'll tell you what, we'll do two chapters per episode. So that'll be it for part one of episode one. So join me next time where apparently I'm going to be meeting Oswald in a park. So that'll be fun. So join me next time for that. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope you're as intrigued as I am as we move into part two. So let's have a look and see what that offers. So thanks a lot for watching. See you awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys.